Hi, welcome back from HTC1Root.com, and I know many of you have been waiting to root your HTC One M8. Uh, this is the latest uh, HTC One uh, that was just released, and I just got it. And let's go ahead and root it. Um, this is going to work for all of the variants, uh, whether you have an AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon. Um, there is a different twerp recovery. Uh, that's used for Sprint and Verizon, but everybody else on GSM is the same. That goes for AT&T, T-Mobile, Unlocked Developer, uh, International. I've got the Unlocked version here. Uh, unlocked just means that your SIM is unlocked, but um, you still have to unlock the bootloader. So let's go ahead and do this. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, unlock the bootloader. And then uh, once it's unlocked, we're going to go ahead and install Twerp Recovery. And then once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and uh, flash Super SU, which will root your phone. And this will give you ability to install custom ROMs. Um, so let's go do this. So first thing you'll wanna do uh, is make a backup of everything on your phone. Uh, unlocking your bootloader will erase everything. And uh, for those of you using Mac or Linux, the instructions are pretty much identical. I do have uh, identical to the original HCC One M7. I do have a tutorial guide I used. Um, uh, I do have a video tutorial, so check that out if you're using Mac or Linux. I'll have all the commands you gotta enter for Mac or Linux, and then you can refer to the older video uh, because it's practically the same, but you can go ahead and refer to that. Um, and uh, let's go do this. So first thing you wanna do uh, is go to settings and go to power and go down to fast boot. All right, make sure you shut this off. That's the first thing you're gonna do. And then you're gonna go ahead and turn the power of your phone off. And uh, once your phone is completely powered down, go ahead and hold down the volume down. All right. While holding that, go ahead and hold down the uh, power button like that. Hold it down for a couple seconds until you see this screen. Um, go ahead and let go of all the buttons. All right. Next, what you're going to do is uh, choose fast boot. Uh, go ahead and hit the power button, and it'll say fast boot there. Go ahead and connect it, uh, connect the micro USB cable to your computer. All right, next you're gonna have to download a couple files. Go ahead and download this file called uh, fastboot.zip. Go ahead and download it and uh, unzip it, extract all files, or you can use your favorite unzipping software. Uh, also Mac or Linux, um, you should be able to simply extract it. And once you do that, you'll get a folder with a bunch of files, uh, fastboot there. Um, now what you wanna do is also download uh, here we go. I'll have all the download links on my site. Go to my site here and go go click on uh, go to hcc1root.com. Go to uh, click on CWM's twerp recoveries, uh, and then go ahead scroll down to uh, HTC One M8 twerp recoveries. Also uh, Clockwork Mod recoveries, CWM recoveries. You can use either or, but go ahead and download the appropriate version for your HTC One. Um, since I have the AT and uh, I have the unlocked version, I'm going to go ahead and download the Twerp recovery uh, up here. This one, I'm going to go ahead and hit download. Uh, if you have Sprint, go ahead and use this one. Verizon, go ahead and use this one. Um, also, if you know what CW recovery is, you can also use that. It's um, you can go ahead and download those two. Uh, practically the same. Uh, and once you have that downloaded, um, it should be in your download folder. Let me go ahead and find it here. And mine is actually this one here, Open Recovery Twerp um, M8.img. Um, so go ahead and copy the IMG file you just downloaded, do a copy, and paste it into the Fastboot folder. All right, and next what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up a command prompt. So go ahead and go to your uh, thing here and type CMD in the search bar. And this will give you a, a command prompt here. Now, if you're using Windows or Mac, um, simply open a terminal. And uh, you know, if you don't know how to do that, you can Google it, or you can refer to my older video, which shows you how for uh, Linux, Ubuntu, and uh, Mac. All right, here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into this directory. So we're going to use some DOS commands. Type cd space downloads, enter. And then we're going to type cd space fastboot and enter. All right, also before we keep going, I forgot to uh, tell you, if you're using Linux or Mac, you don't have to worry about drivers, but if you're using uh, Windows, I'm using Windows 7 64-bit by the way, 
Go to Hardware and Sound Device Manager. If you don't know how to open a device manager in your Windows, go please Google it. And you should have something like this here, a My HCC or some kind of Android USB device. If you don't have it, go ahead and download the HCC drivers for Windows. I'll have a link on my site. Go ahead and run the exe file. Uh, you may have to reboot your computer and uh, repeat all the steps. And uh, once you have that done, we're ready to go. Uh, next, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and type fastboot space oem space uh, get underscore ident oops identifier uh, underscore token. All right, go ahead and hit enter. And this will give you the token. You'll have to go to hccdev.com and they'll send you an unlock code uh, file. Um, so go ahead and copy, uh, do right click mark for Windows, or you can just select if you have Linux or Windows, uh, Linux or Mac, sorry. And go ahead and copy from the arrow to the down arrow and do a right click, and that will copy into your clipboard. Now make sure you don't copy the white spaces. If you do, it's gonna mess you up. All right, let's go to the next step. All right, next we're gonna go to htcdev.com. Um, this is where we're going to uh, unlock our code and go ahead and register if you don't have a username. I'm going to go ahead and sign in uh, since I already have one. All right, once logged in, um, go ahead and go down to unlock bootloader here. Go ahead and click there. All right. And uh, click on get started. All right. Give it a second here. Um, here we go. And it's going to give you this screen here. Um, go ahead and select your device here. Um, I actually like to just uh, uh, select all all other supported models. That's easier, but you can go ahead and just choose HCC one M8. Here we go. All right, go ahead and choose a HCC one M8. Um, hit begin unlock bootloader, and if it uh, just say yes. Here we go. And once that's done, we're going to just go ahead and skip all of these instructions. Uh, make sure you acknowledge the terms. Proceed to unlock instructions. Uh, we're going to go just skip to step five, go all the way down, uh, and we're going to go ahead and enter our, my, our, our device token. So go ahead and do right click paste or paste. And it should look like that, exactly like that. All right, go ahead and hit submit. All right, you should get token submitted successfully. Now, if you get an error here, that means you didn't copy the token correctly so start over do it exactly like I shown you um, and uh, HCC should send you an email uh, within a minute or two or within a couple seconds so I have received this email and if you look at the bottom of it um, you'll get this unlock code dot bin go ahead and download that file and go ahead and uh, show in folder all right and you're gonna go ahead and copy this go ahead and do copy and you're gonna go back to your fastboot folder uh, and uh, go ahead and paste it in here. All right, let's go to the next step. All right, go back to fastboot here. Now for fastboot uh, using Linux or Mac, um, go ahead and uh, use the other code that I have on my site. Um, so you can go ahead and follow along, but enter the other stuff like fastboot-mac, uh, fastboot-linux instead. All right, next we're gonna type is fastboot space you can also copy and paste this from my site. Uh, space flash space uh, unlock token space capital U and then on uh, N L O C K underscore a uh, code dot bin like that. All right, go ahead and hit enter. All right, and it should say unlock token check successful. And now go ahead and go to your phone, and you should get this here. Go ahead and use the volume button to say yes. And again, this is going to erase everything on your phone. So make sure you know that. Um, if you didn't know that, you can go ahead and stop here, say no, and then go ahead and back up everything and start over. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button. And this will unlock the bootloader on your HCC 1M8. And this should take a little bit longer. And uh, it should reboot. I'll be right back. All right, my phone is rebooting. And uh, I'll be back when this is done. All right, so when you unlock your bootloader, it's going to start over. So go ahead and sign in. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign in real quick here. And go ahead and remind me later. Skip. 
skip uh, next all right go ahead and sign in if you, if you want to I'll make it perfect all right next we're gonna go ahead and uh, do one more thing we're gonna go have have to go back into settings here go ahead and go in settings and uh, go ahead and go to power again because it's reset at everything and the default it's gonna check fast boot on we're gonna get back into the fast boot mode so go ahead and uh, uncheck the fast boot and also connect it to your computer via micro USB and let's go to our computer real quick all right next what you're gonna do is go ahead and download um, super su uh, zip file and uh, I actually got it here let me see yes I'll have the link to it on my site go ahead and download super su um, do a copy and go ahead and copy it into your HCC 1M8 anywhere here I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it into the main directory here, the root directory. All right, once that's copied over, let's go back to our phone. Next, you're gonna go ahead and put it into uh, fast boot mode again. Go ahead and power off your phone. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing, uh, volume down and the power. And this will get us into the fast boot mode here. Um, choose fast boot, all right, and go get into fast boot. Go ahead and connect a micro USB cable to your computer. All right, next what we're gonna do is go ahead and type DIR. And uh, you're gonna go ahead and uh, type this image file name later. I'll show you how to do it. Uh, what you're gonna do is go ahead and type fastboot space uh, flash space recovery space and then enter the file name exactly there. Um, if you're using twerp, it might start with, uh, I think, fills, uh, blah, blah, dot IMG. What I do is just go ahead and, uh, the secret to entering this fast is go ahead and uh, enter the first four letter of the image file. So I'm going to type open and hit the tap key on your computer. Then it's going to fill it out for you. Um, go ahead and hit enter. And this will flash the twerp recovery or the CWM recovery. You download it. Uh, make sure it's for your phone. I've got the M8 here for my uh, unlock version here. Next, let's go ahead and go to our phone. So let me switch the camera angle. All right, we're back here. You can go ahead and unplug the micro USB cable if you want to, we don't need it anymore. And you should see when you unlock your bootloader, it should say unlocked at the top. All right, that's normal. And next we're gonna go ahead and choose H boot and go ahead and hit the power button. And then next we're gonna go ahead and choose recovery using the volume keys and go ahead and hit the power button. And this will boot you into whatever recovery, Torp recovery I just installed. It says entering recovery. And we're gonna go ahead and flash the uh, super SU file, zip file we just copied over earlier. Um, so go ahead and hit uh, install. If you're using clock my recovery, it should say install from zip. And then simply go ahead and find the file. I have it right here. Uh, the update blah, super SU blah blah dot zip. And go ahead and confirm to flash and this will give your phone full root. And also you can use twerp recovery here or CWM recovery to uh, make a backup ROM, uh, install custom ROMs, all that good stuff. And I do already have instructions for it. Um, for the original uh, ACC1 M7, go ahead and follow that. It's pretty much identical to the M8, um, just a different looking phone. All right, go ahead and reboot now, reboot system. And give it a second here. And you sh once it's rebooted, you'll f your phone should be fully rooted. And for some reason, oh, there you go, there it goes. Um, so I'll be back when completely boots. All right, once your phone has been ro uh, rooted <laughs> and booted, um, go ahead and uh, go to your app drawer and you should find Super SU. Go ahead and click on it once. And uh, if you don't see any errors, your phone has been completely rooted. Congratulations, pat yourself on the back. Go ahead and go to the Play Store. Uh, let me go sign in real quick. All right, to verify you have full root, uh, what you can do, uh, let me actually stop this real quick. Uh, what you can do and go search for Titanium Backup App, uh, which is a rooted app, and also uh, an app I highly recommend to save your backups, all that good stuff. So go ahead and download that. And let me actually stop this thing from downloading. And... Ah, hold on a second, let me... Here we go, uh, let's go ahead and re-download Titanium back up here. Um, sometimes Google Play Store, uh, when you reset everything like this, it's gonna try to update everything. And 
it's sometimes a pain to stop it. Um, go ahead and open Titanium back up at when you're done. There we go, Boom Shakalaka. You have uh, full root, and uh, you verify you have full root. Um, so you should have full root and be able to run rooted apps, all that good stuff. Anyway, thanks to you guys for watching this video. That was how to root your HTC One M8, and uh, I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android.